Here at our Consumer Watch, as many of you are beginning your holiday shopping, we're taking a look at how the supply chain is doing. We've talked about the supply chain a lot in the past year. We're checking in with a local business and an expert on what spending looks like and how you can save some money. You are good to go. There you go. Thank you. Merry Christmas if we don't see you. The Rocky Mountain Soap Market in downtown Colorado Springs is already off to a busy start this holiday season. Mm, is that good? Yeah. Yeah, nice. for my daughter. And daughter. Oh, yeah. good. Um, after Small Business Saturday, I was already in touch with our makery up in Black Forest just saying, OK, we've run out of this and this and this and we need more. The pandemic actually led to a lot of growth in the store's customer. <laughs> Can't go wrong with lavender. And those customers are returning year after year. I think because maybe people were leery going in some of the big box stores and just the uncertainty of what that was like. And then do you need a gift receipt for anything? The store has seen a handful of silver linings that's helped the business grow. Have you used it before? I just tried, tried it. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. And as supply chain issues have been a challenge across the country, it has not impacted the store all that much. We've really been okay with things. We had a couple of things last holiday season that we sold out of really quickly that we couldn't get. So we made sure this season we ordered way ahead of time. But for bigger stores across the country, it's a different story. After all, the past two holiday shopping seasons have not been typical. And this year, you can expect another odd shopping season, but for a different reason. Retailers now are sitting on anywhere from two to three seasons of apparel. There's a lot more product to shop than previous years. Scott Van Ness is a professor at UCCS. He studies the supply chain extensively. The orders for new products are down anywhere from 25 to 75 percent, and these are big, big folks. Having a lot of product to go around may sound like good news compared to when many store shelves sat empty, but there's more to it. The increase in stuff can actually work in your favor. You've got to get through these inventories, and they're going to have to discount like crazy. Vaness says those discounts are likely to come after the new year, so with a little bit of strategy, you can stretch your dollar further this holiday season. If, if you are thinking about clothing, wait if you can wait. But there's a lot of stuff in the warehouses right now. It's got to move eventually, but then when that does happen is when you're going to start to see these warehouses start to push this stuff out, and that's where the bargains are going to be available for consumers. One idea if you're looking for clothes this holiday season, turn to gift cards. That way your dollar goes further once products go on sale. But Vaness says it's going to be a balancing act for large brands when it comes to figuring out just how much to discount things. Nobody's ever done this before. Move this kind, this amount of, of apparel through the supply chain. Apparel and discounting where you, um, uh, if you do it too long, your brand now gets associated with discount Things. It's going to be interesting to see how they do it. Are these gifts or are they for you? Back at the soap market, you're likely not going to see heavily discounted items in smaller local stores. The store has been strategic with its inventory, planning ahead starting at the beginning of the year. We've become very strategic. We've become very creative. I think our creativity has really paid off. So market says that they've noticed more customers coming in this year, but spending patterns have changed in terms of just how much they're spending and people are coming in to look first and then they're returning to buy.